For those people that are interested in mathematical diversity such as magic squares, I put together a little program that I'd like to demonstrate for you now. To begin with, let's take a look at some of the simpler uh, magic squares. Let's start with 3. And if I type in 3, I can start with any number, um, positive or negative. So I'm going to start with 1 and do an increment of 1. Now this is pretty standard to the way most people will look. This is a standard 3 by 3 magic square that you expect. But we can start with other values, negative, and use positive increments that are non-zero. So let's try that. Let's start with our basic one here. As you can see, with the basic 3 by 3 magic square with a start value of 1 and a positive increment of 1, we do get 15 as our total. That means all rows, 8, 1, and 6, 3, 5, 7, 4, 9, 2, all add to 15, as well as columns 8, 3, 4, 1, 5, 9, 6, 7, 2, add to 15, as well as the diagonals 8, 5, 2, and 6, 5, 4, all add to 15. Now let's try something even more fun. Let's try a 20 by 20 just to see it. Okay, let's try that now. If we take a look, you can see that 20 by 20 magic square with a start value of 1 and non-zero increment of 1 gives you a total of 4,010 on every row and column. If you were to take the time and look at all the numbers in this 20 by 20 and added all the rows and columns together and all the diagonals, you would indeed find that the number does add to 4,010. What makes this program even more interesting is it does allow you to add uh, different increment sizes, but also to start at numbers that are less than 1. For instance, this 3 by 3 magic square starts at minus 4 and goes up in increments of 1. And you'll see here that all of the numbers do add up to 0. So you can start playing around and having fun with this stuff. So all the rows, diagonals, columns all add to 0 as you can see here. So even the 20 by 20 or any of the other magic squares, you can get that up to just about any number that you choose within certain bounds. If you do want to find out more information about how to make your own Magic Squares program or just have some fun generating them yourself, you can go to my website, uh, people.senecac.on.ca slash david.ross, and it will bring up uh, this menu that you'll see here. We slide this over, and under all of this, you'll find a link on here that says Magic Squares. And if you click on that, it will take you to some documentation that will show you how to build your own magic squares from 3 by 3s up to 20 by 20s and even give you an idea of how to even go to higher values. When you click on this link you will find that one of my colleagues years ago, Thomas Messiah, got me interested in magic squares and without him doing that about, oh it must be 18 years ago, this is 2009 now, but it's been about 18 years, I would never have put together the original program in BASIC or written it back into C now. Let's take a look at some of the documentation itself. The documentation starts off with how to build in step-by-step -step form simple 3x3 three three magic squares. It talks about starting with a 1 here going up to the right and if you can't go there you just wrap around and come back here that would be the 2. Then when the 2 is there you go off to the right and since you can't you wrap it around to here. Once you've gone through, if this is a 3x3, three three, the first 3, then you drop down 1 and go 4, 5, 6. Then once it's here, you drop down 1 and go 7. We see here 7 and then 8 would wrap around here, 9, and that completes your 3x3 three three magic square. Now you can use this same technique if we want to take a look at one that's a lot bigger. Let's take a look at this one. So if we start at 1, go over here, can't get there, so 2, 3, 4, this comes off 5, 6, 7, drop down 1, 8, 9, 10, uh, 11 would be up here, so you wrap that around, 11, 12, 13 would be here, 14, so there you've gone through those, and then you drop down 15, 16, 17, so going through this pattern, it's fairly simple to generate a odd-numbered um, magic square of just about any size. The thing that's a little bit more tricky <coughs> is to actually come up with an even-numbered magic square. And to build your first even-numbered magic square, 4 by 4, you just basically write down all the numbers 1 to 16. Then you can invert the diagonals so that 1, 6, 11, and 16 becomes 16, 11, 6, and 1. And likewise, this diagonal becomes 13, 10, 7, and 4. And then if you write the original numbers back in, that indeed does give you a magic square of 4 by 4. 
once you've done that, the next step, which is even more interesting, comes down to the fact of, well, let's try and build an outer ring here, figure out what the numbers would be in the outer ring to do, in this case, this is a 6 by 6, so you've got numbers 1 through 36. Now, the simple thing to do is if you can make all these numbers balance off in such a way as that they all add up to a certain number, then all you have to do is augment these inner this inner 4x4 four four here, in this case by 10, and by doing that you can actually come up with, as you see here, as you start piling these numbers around the outside and getting them to balance. So this is uh, 19, or 9, sorry, plus 28 is uh, 37, this is 37, this is 37. So once you get all those balancing and you've augmented the inner one, you can actually come up with a 6x6 six by, six by building on from the original 4x4. Four Similarly, once you get your 6x6, six six, you can then build an outer ring around this and then augment all these numbers inside to generate the next even-numbered magic square and so on. And what I've done is I've shown here in the documentation a table of rings of 18x18, 18 18, and it goes through all the details of how you can do this in steps and so forth uh, in clear detail of how to build up various even-numbered magic squares. So, and as I showed you on the screen originally, here is a magic square uh, that adds up to 4,010, and here's a magic square that adds up to 15 as 3 by 3, and a 5 by 5 that adds to 0. Hope you had fun with this, and if you need any further help, just give me a shout.